Hey everyone, and welcome back to more Deathmark 2, the following day at Kujo Mansion. Dramatic opening. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, phone! <laughs> Hello. Eita! Thanks for your help last night. What do you want? Actually, Miss Yasuoka called me this morning to tell me something. The Departed's figure is getting darker and darker each day. You should back away from this now. Oh, the usual. Coming from a spiritualist like Yasuoka, those words could carry some serious weight. No wonder he's scared. Ada's information has really been a great help, but with all the people we've lost on this case, there's just no way I can try and talk him into risking his life to help me out. I got it. You were a great help. Thanks for all the work you did for me. Just gonna brush him off and on. Oh! I'll get back to teaching you how to work a computer once this case is all done. We'll start with internet use. That'll be something nice for you to look forward to. Thanks. This is fine. The house is on fire, but this is fine. Bum 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 ba da 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 da. Shibito no tatari. Tatari. Wrath. Off to school! Are we teaching again? I leave the mansion and head to the academy. I have to report last night's event to Mr. Konoe. Mr. Kokuri? Was that it? Mushroom man? I enter the special building and walk towards the infirmary. No diamond though. Doo -doo -doo. I better go to the faculty room. There you go. Since afternoon classes are still in session, the faculty room looks emptier than usual. Mr. Konoe, who is sitting in the back of the room, notices my arrival. Ah, you're here, Gabu. His voice sounds weak, and for some reason his complexion doesn't look so good. Are you alright? I assume you are inquiring about my physical condition. No, I am not well. I've been feeling lethargic and sluggish all morning. Perhaps it's the ravages of stress taking a toll on my body. But enough about me. I heard you received a notice yesterday. How did the investigation go? I gave him a detailed report about Mr. Kokuri's case from beginning to end. The sour expression on his face as he listens to me recounting the events of last night tells me all I need to know. Goodness gracious! First Izumi, then Horikoshi, now Kakuta. Three students have gone missing under my watch. And yet again, you failed to protect the targeted student. Apologize. Why are you apologizing to me? The students and their parents are the ones who you should be apologizing to. Mr. Konoe. You can fire me if you like, but how would you stop the departed? Mr. Konoe falls silent at my words. You're right. No matter how many valid complaints I have, it doesn't change the fact that you're the only hope I have of rectifying the situation. I let out an overly exaggerated sigh. <sighs> I understand the situation he's in. Plus, what else could I do other than threaten him to stop bothering me? However, one more victim and you'll be dismissed. Sakamoto has backed me into a corner. She's suspicious of you, especially in regards to Doryo and Kinukawa. But she's misunder misunderstanding the situation. I mean, dismiss me and people will just keep dying. And then how do you explain it? Last chance, understood. Sure. That's all for me then. Don't let me down, Gabu. Honestly, I'm surprised not more people die with how many spirits we're um, getting rid of. I leave the faculty room feeling Mr. Konoe is still staring daggers into my back. Honestly, I couldn't care less if Mr. Konoe and Sakamoto suspect me. But if I get kicked off campus, I won't be able to investigate, and I know I'm the only one who can pursue the departed and bring this to an end. I can't afford to make any more mistakes. A chime sounds over the speakers. Looks like class is over. What do I do now? I really want to start doing some investigating, but I have no idea where to start. The departed, who is still hiding at Konoehara Academy, is playing their cards well. They don't seem to have there don't seem to be any clues left. I have to pick one spot that still has some ties to them. The clock tower I was just gonna say, dude, we haven't really properly checked the clock tower. 
During summer vacation, Doryo and Michiho saw the female doll in the red dress there. At that moment, their bodies were afflicted, afflicted with a curse. If the departed was the, only, was the one who caused it, then the tower is probably connected with them. There might be something in there. Maybe I can get some more info if I talk to her. Should I go visit her? The doll, you mean? Hmm. Is Abe-chan here? When I step into the library, I find a girl whose appearance clashes with the place. Hey! Sup, Maruhashi. Kakuta didn't come to school today. You know anything about it? Sorry, no idea. He's fucking dead. There's no way I can tell Maruhashi about Kakuta's death. What are you doing here? I'm just chilling here. Got no place to go. Not after I learned how terrifying that corridor was. Then you should just go home. Didn't the teachers tell you not to hang out here after class? Who knows? Maybe something weird will happen to you again. Ugh, stop acting like a teacher. Don't freak me out like that. I was about to go home anyway. My body just feels really heavy somehow today. Are you gonna stay until night again? If you do, be careful. I have a bad feeling. Hmm. Leave the light. Well, that was nice to see her again. Are the girls here? Doryo, standing near the window when I enter. She notices my presence right away and turns to me. Hello. Ah, so you're here today. I heard about Kakuta from Michiho. Yeah, it was really unfortunate. Say, Doryo, there's something I want to ask about the clock tower. That reminds me. I haven't told you about it yet. About what? I actually went to the clock tower during lunch break yesterday. You shouldn't be taking risks like that. Spirits don't show up during the day, so it's fine. I didn't go inside, though. The door wouldn't open. That's weird. Did someone lock it? That's unlikely. The key to the clock tower is missing. Nobody's able to enter the clock tower right now. But it was open that night. Was it the departed's doing? Probably. Most likely. Looks like I can't investigate the clock tower just yet. About that tower. One time, the clock tower doll I saw made the school newspaper. I was skimming through the school's old newspapers this morning, hoping to get information about the departed. And then I found an article about a female doll. Mr. Konoe told me the school's historical records were lost due to war damage. But for it to have been buried in the school newspaper archives... Aren't you squeamish when it comes to horror stories and the likes? What made you do that? Oh, uh, I just wanted to be of some help. Tell me the details. Spill the beans. There was a rumor going around Konoehara Academy. Do, 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 do. I love this music. 60 years ago, the first headmaster built the clock tower to commemorate the school's 10th anniversary. A stylish stone clock tower that stood tall in the remote countryside of Konoehara. Many students were wondering what the inside of the tower was like. Overcome with curiosity, some eventually snuck into the tower. What they saw inside the tower was the first headmaster's collection. There were a lot of antique things, but the item that caught the attention of the most people was... A doll wearing a red wedding dress that lay on a stone altar. I... Konoe must be the bad guy, right? Rumors of the doll spread in no time because everyone was interested in its origin. What if it's not actually his grandpa who built the place, but it's just him, like he's not aging? However, the first headmaster had already passed away by that time, so he was unable to answer those burning questions. With nobody to tell the truth, wild speculation regarding the doll ran unchecked. The first, head first headmaster, who'd always been fond of antique goods, had bought that doll from a European family. It's a cursed doll that was modeled after young girls who became sacrifices. The first headmaster had a craftsman make the doll to enshrine the deities of Konoehara. It's a doll made to calm the soul of a student who lost their fiancé and committed suicide. Fiancé? Isn't this a high school? No definitive answer was ever found because there wasn't anyone around who knew the truth. In the end, everyone forgot about the doll in the clock tower once the war broke out. And that was the rumor featured in the news newspaper. It's an interesting story, but the rumor has so many variations regarding the origin of the doll. Which one is the truth, if any? Let me confirm one thing. Are there any rumors about the doll moving? No, not at all. Oh, okay. 
There are people who have seen the female doll, but not when she's moving. Guess I'm the only one who's witnessed it. I have to go. Thanks, Dorio. I hope the information could help you in some way. I have to head out as well. The teacher's told us not to stay at school. Finally, you're listening. I say goodbye to Dorio and leave the student council room. Bum, 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 bum. Rumors involve a doll in a red wedding dress placed on an altar inside. No one knows its origins. It's the same doll that shows up everywhere I go. I need to find out if the doll and the departed are related in addition to a way to enter the clock tower itself. They must be related because the doll's been healing with every ghost that's been consumed. Hmm. See if anyone is in the faculty room. Sakamoto? Mm hmm Maybe this chapter has more with Sakamoto. Still plaguing our school, are you, Mr. Gabu? I asked Mr. Konoe to do away with you, though. Oh, don't worry. He heard you. He told me that I'll be dismissed if I make another mistake. That Konoe is far too lenient. If an incident occurs, it'll be too late. We need to deal with this problem quickly. By problem, are you referring to... My qualification as a teacher? The investigation that is certainly a problem though i'm more more worried about dorio and kinukawa i don't know what kind of nonsense you've concocted in that skull of yours but i assur assure you there's nothing going on i have no intention of doing anything untoward with any student and yet an incident can still occur even without a teacher having such intentions just like in mr hirose's the art teacher Mm-hmm. Both Kashima and Manabe had a crush on him, which spiraled into tragic consequences. I've warned Doryo and Kinuk Kinukawa not to get close to you, but seeing them defend you so fervently, the situation is getting dangerous. That's what my intuition as a woman is telling me. Let me repeat it again. This is all just a big mis misunderstanding on your part. I've warned you, Mr. Gabu. If you'll excuse me, then. Ouch. What? Sakamoto grimaces, pressing her fingers to her temple. You are right? Leave me be. I've been having terrible headaches since this morning. This is all your fault. So many people are physically not doing well. Mumbling invectives at me, Sakamoto hurriedly stumbles out of the faculty room. Jeez. A big sigh escapes my lips. There's nothing I can do about it. I have to investigate the departed. And sometimes, the only way I can make progress is by getting the students' cooperation. I shouldn't refrain from asking them. How are we gonna get into the clock tower, though, if... It's actually closed off for us. School will be closing shortly. All students, please promptly vacate the school grounds for today. Finally time for students to leave. Head back to the infirmary and try to come up with some kind of strat. You got it. Abitan, Are you gonna be my friend for tonight? What's up? School ended a while ago. You better go home. Goodness, that is too much. I'm not asking for grand gesticulations of friendship, but it wouldn't hurt you to be a tad bit kinder, would you know? After all, I have come all this way here to provide you with information regarding the departed. Yes, please. Come again. With the lack of notice and no new pertinent information, I am pretty desperate. Let's give him a listen for now. Tell me more. Before we get to the meat of my report, there's something I'd like to tell you. This will be my final act of assistance. I shall cease pursuing the departed after this. Oh really? What's with the sudden decision? I saw something with my left eye. I witnessed my own tragic end, assaulted by a terrifying demon with numerous legs. <laughs> Centipede? I assume he must be referring to some kind of bug. If you want to deride me for my cowardice, feel free to do so. But I won't die if I abandon my pursuit now. My master has also warned me to do so. I'm not going to laugh at you. You've made a wise decision. However, it seems like you have not been afforded the same option. You cannot run for the departed any longer. So this is my parting gift to you as you take another step closer to death. Yes, give me that intel. Let's go. 
The Departed, a name we learned through the notices. However, that sinister name has existed since long before we first heard of it. A hundred years ago, before Konoehara Academy was even founded, a dark incident occurred on these lands. Ooh, darkness. There was a small village called M-Town. At some point, residents of M-Town succumbed to an unknown disease one by one. In the end, the village was destroyed and the incident was forgotten. The whole village died? But one of the residents said this before they died. This is the departed's wrath. So, death's wrath. This is the most valuable information I've ever found. Interesting information. Where did you learn it? From the former headmaster. He liked to study the school's history during his spare time. When the first notice arrived, I went to him and asked if he knew something. So he told you about the wrath? Yes, it sounded like a mere ghost story to him more than anything. He was a realist. He didn't believe in the departed. If I remember correctly, that headmaster died of a heart attack, didn't he? Yes. If he were still alive, you might have learned more valuable information from him. Right after the departed's notice first arrived, the only person who knew about their past died. Another convenient coincidence. I shall be going home soon. To tell you the truth, I've been feeling under the weather. Perhaps I'm possessed. Him too! Now that I think about it, I've heard similar complaints from a lot of people today. It could just be the outbreak of some disease, but the events of last night suddenly crossed my mind. What if the Departed's transformation now gives them the power to not only affect the school, but humans as well? That's true, everyone is like spending a lot of time here during the day. We just went away. Mr. Gabu, the gruesome death I saw with my left eye also applies to you. What awaits you is an inevitable catastrophe. I hate to see the great spirit doctor lose his life this way. After despondently speaking those words, Abe leaves the room. I guess I'll take that as a sign that he really is worried about me. The sun sets and darkness falls on Konoehara Academy. How many times have I greeted the night here? Probably about five times, because we're in chapter five, six? Hello. Kirukawa! Thank goodness you're still at the school. What's wrong? Just wanted to ask if you made any progress. I'm curious. I'm in front of the school now. Mind coming out? I don't mind, but we could just talk over the phone. Oh jeez, that's fine, isn't it? I'll be waiting. Hmm. Sakamoto just gave me that warning today. I have no choice since I made a promise. Should I head to the main gate now? I had a migraine earlier today and it's it's gone. Like I took painkillers and it's fine, but I can feel the brain fog. Sometimes my tongue is like a little slow. It's hard to like pronounce pronounce everything correctly. I at least to put like extra focus in. Konoehara Academy. The lights in the hallway are glowing red. Given the lack of commotion right now, I'm guessing nobody's noticed yet. It's pretty hard to miss, so someone's going to notice it sooner or later. Cool front gate. Micho is waiting in front of the main gate. The moment she sees me, she rushes over like a puppy. Good evening, Mr. Gabu. You look tired today, too. Not surprised, though. What is this music? Is this her music? How are you feeling? Same old, same old. A bit tired since I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Never mind that. How is your investigation going? Did you learn of any new facts? Not a lot, but... I tell her about the story of the Departed's wrath that I heard from Abe. Wrath of the Departed? That sounds like something from a fantasy novel. Did the previous headmaster tell you anything? No, I wasn't particularly close to him. Student Council Vice President, but I usually have he may deal with the teachers. Oh, okay. There's something that caught my attention. I remember M-Town coming up in one of the cases somehow. Now that she mentioned it, that name does sound somewhat familiar. In which case did M-Town show up? Ooh. 
we did have a mention of Kashima earlier, so maybe that one. I don't think it was Kokuri. Kokuri, I remember S Lake. I recall what happened when we were investigating Kashima. I feel like I saw that name during Kashima's investigation. Where did I see the name M Town? Bus route map? Mm, maybe it was heading to M Town, yeah. Oh, I don't remember. I don't think I saw any school newspapers. I tried to remember what was written on the bus route, route map. Bingo. One of the bus stops I saw that time was M Town Shop. <gasps> the shop! Oh, you're right. That would be cool if we go back there. You sure have a good memory. If the owner is a descendant of an M Town resident, that might have some documents from the past. I'll try going to the M Town shop. Sure, let's go there together. Wait a minute. You're coming with me? Of course I am. But don't you have a curfew? No need to worry. Hime can handle it. The dorm manager trusts her, you know? That's not the issue, though. I don't want to leave you alone. Carrying these burdens all by yourself just seems really tough. Tough, huh? I guess it is. Mr. Kono is Mr. Konoe's ultimatum. Sakamoto's hostility. Abe's prediction of death. The departed's constantly targeting me. The students I couldn't protect. Daimon unconscious in a hospital bed. My heart is screaming from all the weight it's bearing, but I've chosen to close my ears and ignore it. I know I can't help carry all that heavy baggage, but... I can at least help you relax a bit. I'm begging you, I'm not asking for too much. Her kindness tastes as sweet as honey to my exhausted mind. Except, there's a chance she might be the departed. Honestly, she's kind of... too friendly. Like, it makes me uneasy. Michio and I climb into the car I parked. Oh yeah, I don't need to take the bus. Let's go! I'm done, baby! I parked my car nearby and walked towards the bus stop in front of M-Town. Ick, this shop is so creepy. The building is run down and there's no sign of life inside. Doesn't look like anyone actually lives here. We'll find out for sure once we check it out. Hmm. Hmm. A crooked guardrail and a slanted pole. Looking at the brake marks on the road, it seems like there was a car accident here. I heard car, car tires. You should take that to heart. Safe driving is important. Google. There's an old mailbox hanging on a wooden wall. When I peer inside, I find a postcard. I wonder what it's of. Let's check it out. Why are you being so casual about everything? Without responding and before I can tell her to stop, Michio has already got her hand on the lid. I mean, yeah, we have to... It's not opening. We have to... Investigate. Is it locked? I don't see any keyhole, though. Maybe it's rusted shut? Yes. There's a faded paper with the word morning on it pasted on the glass door. A morning notice? I think they hang it on the house and they're supposed to remove it after 49 days. You sure it a lot of strange things. When my grandma died, one of my relatives told me about it. But does that mean someone here passed away sometime in the past seven weeks I put I suppose it would imply that Wait, let me see if I can try this Yush. again the lid seems to be locked and we can't take out the postcard okay I was worried that maybe it was one of those things where it was like you have to try mm. clicking on it twice and then suddenly it works a vending machine with bottled water judging by the lack of any light and the fact that it's not making any sort of mechanical sounds Seems like it's no longer in use. This vending machine is kind of rare, isn't it? It's got bottles of water. Out of order. Yeah, I remember she said that before. The other side of the dusty glass door is pitch black, preventing us from seeing the inside of the store. Oh. What's going on here? I hear an eerie male voice coming from inside the shop. Wait, can we go inside then? Cool, cool. I wonder who's inside. Inspect. 
There's no bell anywhere around this door. We'll just have to knock on the door and see if someone's inside. Do it. That sounds like you're breaking the door down. No response. Maybe they're asleep. Let's try again. No response. Let's give it one last try. Third time's the charm. Yeah, let's go. Cora, Cora. Oh, a little bit of damage. My head. A scene suddenly flashes before my eyes, and that scene is... <gasps> of an elderly man lying on the ground of an old store. His head is deformed and swelling to the point of becoming gelatinous. Ooh, gross! Swarms of centipedes continue to issue forth from his eyes. Bugs. Did the... Uh, it's like they lay eggs in his skull. The departed. The departed's wrath. Gross. The moment he stops speaking, his body also stops twitching. All that moves in the dark now are the bugs. I wonder what caused this to happen. I can no longer hear any response coming from his gaping mouth. There is one thing that I'm dead certain about. He said it was the departed's wrath. What's wrong? I saw what happened. The owner of the shop. He was probably killed by the departed. The departed. The departed. I described the vision I saw. So the person that was being mourned was that old man you saw? I guess so. But they had the mourning notice up, which means they had a funeral, and that means his corpse must have been found. That's odd, because the other victim's corpses disappeared. How could that be? Didn't Kakuta's corpse remain too, though? Maybe there are times when they don't need to keep get rid of the corpse or something. I don't understand. This is just a guess, but the Departed wants to continue this whole little notice game. If there's actually a dead body found at the school, the police will come. There's a chance that the school will be closed and then there won't be any students. So maybe they only discard the corpses at school. But Manabe's body also disappeared and she didn't die at the school. That one was probably because of you, though. With that corpse in the hospital, the cops probably would have arrested you, and that's also not something to depart at once. That actually makes sense, since I'm supposed to be their husband. And this ends my sloppy deduction. Thank you for listening. Although she doesn't think too highly of her reasoning, I have to admit it does make sense. The corpse was found outside the school and had no ties to me. Therefore, it remained. Why was he cursed, though? I'm not so sure, but maybe it's because he was a descendant of M-Town. M-Town was destroyed by the departed. While we don't know what exactly happened here, the wrath still remains and he killed the old man. <gasps> the mailbox! It's open! An old mailbox. Open it! It doesn't look any different. Maybe it's just hearing things. Try and open it. Oh yeah, Emma Mura Shoten. I just see now the sign up top. Unlike last time, it opens easily. How is this possible? Did something just happen to get caught in so the mailbox refused to open? Or was there a trigger or something? Oh well, not like I'm gonna get any answers. Time to see what was locked away. I collect the postcard. It's addressed to M-Town shop, though I have no idea who the sender is. Is it a notice? Oh, the headmaster? I flip the card over and fight some words of gratitude written on, written on it. This is obviously some kind of thank you letter from the previous headmaster. Reading the letter more thoroughly, the shop owner apparently donated an old book <gasps> about M-Town's ritual to the school. I need to see that book. It should be in the academy now. Probably in the library. Although, if they considered it to be a valuable item, they might have put it away somewhere else for safekeeping. We came this far, and that's where the trail leads, so why don't we try looking for it? Let's go back to the academy. 
Who knew a book in the library? I leave M Town shop and get into the car. The trip back should only take about five minutes if we don't get caught in traffic. Well, by the looks of it, there is no traffic whatsoever. Throughout the ride, Michiho only stares blankly at the scenery. She was in such high spirits earlier. I wonder what's wrong. Say, Mr. Gabu, do you have a moment? Michiho calls out in a low, subdued voice, as if she were waiting for the right moment to spring something on me. I need your opinion on something. It's related to The Departed. Mind if I talk about it? Sure, go ahead. It's about the notices. Do you remember how many we've gotten? Including the one that arrived before I came to school. So that was ribbon, right? It started with ribbon, then piano, model, model, and then kokuri. So it might be four? Plus we're in chapter six right now, so I think four. Oh, really? Six? Try to crawl six. Ribbon. Pianist. Model. Oh, gold prize. I totally forgot gold prize. Oh, we got one for Dorio Michio and the hooligan. Oh, God. Yeah, way more than I thought. What about the notices? I want to know what the purpose was for issuing those notices. The Departed isn't a spirit who goes around committing horrible acts for fun. They issued those with a goal in mind. Ever since the model notice, they've been releasing those notes to test you, their husband. But what about the first two? Well, now you got me curious about it too. Any ideas? Well, yeah, sorta. If they issued the latter notices as a trial, I'm guessing that also applied to the first two. So you're saying there was already a marriage candidate even before I arrived? Yeah, if I'm right, who do you think it was? The potential husband before me. Konoe. Yeah, Konoe died recently. Yeah. Why do you think that? He wasn't even at the school when the first notice arrived. Who do you think it was? Izumi. Why? Izumi was different from the other victims. Before he was murdered, he said, The Departed is calling me. I actually heard his last words. Seems like he knew the true identity of the Departed. Seriously, who is it? Well, he didn't say. But if he really did learn the Departed's true identity, he probably was being put on trial. So the first notice really was issued to test Izumi. I guess he was deemed unfit since he abandoned Takai and ran away. Maybe that's why he became the second target. I showed up at the academy at that time. I don't know what they saw in me, but they chose me as their ne next potential husband. And you didn't run away and actually accepted the challenge. You tried to save those spirits' souls. That cool side of yours must have fit with their image of an ideal husband. And that concludes Michiho Kinukawa's deduction. I sure have a good imagination, right? Maybe I can be a novelist or something. To be honest, I'm blown away by the story that Michiho concocted for me. It's as if the departed him themselves is telling me their plans. Mm-hmm. I would have never thought that you could piece together their train of thought so well. I'm surprised. <laughs> Michiho smiles, her fingers playing with her white hair. I suppose it's because that doll was cursed by the departed. Previously, she said she thought the departed was the female doll. I guess she still stands by that opinion. Somehow I can understand how they feel, like when I was possessed by Kashima. The departed has been longing for an ideal husband who knows how long, for who knows how long. And then they found you. Michiho? Oh, she's probably quoting. I love you. I want to vow to live happily ever after with you. Then I want to... Eat you up. Wait, so it is her? Is this the big reveal? Just kidding. Come on now. 
Oh, don't be mad. I end up getting carried away when I start acting like the departed. Did I freak you out? Mm, I don't know if she's joking or not. <sighs> don't tease your teacher. Sorry. When I saw that gloomy face of yours, I just had to urge to, eat, to teach you to eat you. What a slip. I just had the urge to eat you. We should be arriving at the academy soon. I opened the window and let the cold night air in. I don't think I can bear this indescribable atmosphere. Well, here we are. Why are the lights red? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. They've been like this since last night. I think the departed did this, but I could be wrong. I see. Is this their way of trying to charm you? In what way, exactly? Hmm, let's see. The departed thinks you're their ideal husband, right? They do. This is something I've seen on TV. In Shinto weddings, bonfire and paper lanterns are usually lit at night to illuminate the path of the newlyweds. I figure these lights are their version of that. They're really going all out to perfect every detail of their wedding, then. I mean, everything they do is pretty detailed. They issue fancy notices and even blend themselves in with the people in school. Bet they're having so much fun. I don't doubt that. Among spirits, there are some who feel their greatest pleasure when they're inflicting fear on humans. Honestly, Michiho is becoming weirder and weirder. Maybe it is just her. Supposedly an exquisite pleasure that humans cannot comprehend. The departed might be one of those spirits. It doesn't seem to be causing any harm, so we probably shouldn't pay much attention to it. Let's just ignore it for now. You're a strong one, aren't you? Shall we go to the library? Why don't you go back to the dorms? It's getting late. Boo, don't wanna. Let me tag along until the end. I'm curious to know where this leads. But how about I promise I'll go home once we find the old book? Just let me stay until then. What if I don't want to? Then I'll still tag along. Sheesh. I'd better find that old book as soon as possible so the curfew breaking student will head home. The best place to find a book should be in the library. Okay, let's see, what can we find? There's a wooden book storage cabinet with a glass door. It seems to store special books that aren't allowed to leave the school premises. Since old books would be considered valuable items, it should be somewhere around here. Huh, clicked on the right thing immediately. Micho and I split up to check each book storage section. Each city's local documents and old maps are stored together in the school new newspaper folder. I skimmed the documents hoping to find anything related to the departed to no avail. I can't seem to find anything that looks like an old book either. Hmm. This book has some information about M-Town. Michio shows me a book called H City's Local History, which was self-published by the previous headmaster. Issued a year ago, this book apparently was only given to family and close friends. Thinking it might be connected to the case, I write down the bits of M notes. M Town. Konoehara used to be a small town named M. <laughs> the area where Konoehara Academy currently sits was once M Town's downtown. M Town had its own beliefs and cost customs, though they gradually disappeared following the westernization that occurred during the Meiji period. Furthermore, the plague that occurred at the end of the Meiji era caused a sharp decrease in its population. The survivors all called it the Departed's Wrath. The autopsies determined it to be cholera. Ah. It's still unknown what the departed refers to, though some speculate it may be tied to their local folklore. Two earthly deities were enshrined in M-Town. One of them was Mushigami. Details regarding this deity are hazy as there are not many traces of M-Town's customs, though it does beg the question, did these people really make an insect their god? Yeah, Mushi is insect. Mushi, mushi and Kami is god, so insect god. Mushigami. Mushigami Shrine was said to be located in the vicinity of Konoehara Academy's old building. Because the shrine was already half ruined when the school was founded, they demolished it to build the old building. When the first headmaster, Genzo Konoe, had the shrine demolished, he tried to placate Mushigami and the souls of those who died of the plague. This is how the shrine in the connecting corridor came to be. Ah. Both teachers and students might have called it Kokuri Shrine, but that's actually incorrect. It was simply named after the guardian fox of the Mushigami Shrine, which is now standing in the courtyard. Interesting. Lord Mushigami, huh? What a beautiful name. 
I want to know their connection to the departed. How should I put this? There are many scary stories where gods punish humans for destroying their shrines. The departed's wrath began before the shrine was destroyed, though. True, but I don't think those things are completely unrelated. Because those who knew about the wrath died one after the other. You see the picture of the talisman over here? I think they had good taste for choosing centipedes, don't you think so too? Is the theme Skolopendra Subsubitipiti? Uh, Michiho points at a photo on the edge of a page. Oh, cool. That's a cool tattoo. It's an old talisman with centipedes drawn on it. Wasn't the little shrine, Kokuri shrine, on the second floor completely covered in those talismans? This talisman was made at the Mushigami shrine. Apparently, the previous headmaster got his hands on it. In M Town, people believed they could escape danger by putting this talisman on the front of their houses. Why do I feel like I've seen this talisman somewhere before? Uh huh. Ta da! Ah, that's right, the shrine on the second floor. There are talismans hanging there. But all we found inside the shrine was the petri dish. There wasn't any information related to M Town. According to the book, that shrine was built to replace the town's Mushigami shrine. So what are disasting prevention talismans doing hanging in a shrine that's been around for so long? Were they that afraid of Mr. Kokuri's rumors or something? I just remembered. I saw that talisman before. Micho, who's peering at the book beside me, speaks up. The shrine in the connecting corridor, right? To my surprise, she shook her head in disagreement. Where'd you see it then? Over there. I was completely confused at the time, but I saw the talisman with my own eyes. A place where she was completely confused? Don't tell me she saw the talisman at... The clock tower. Exactly. When both Hime and I were on the ground, I saw the talisman. Why don't we go inspect the clock tower? It's locked though. It was open that time, wasn't it? I mean, it's already nighttime, so who knows? Maybe it's open again. It might be. It doesn't make any sense, but I'm still willing to believe in that slim chance. Let's go to the clock tower. Yeah. Um, do you think there's any teeth? Mm hmm. Checkout counter, nothing unusual. I've been checking out books related to insects. Hmm. Bookshelves filled with all sorts of encyclopedia. The world beetle encyclopedia in the back. Now you can see as many beautiful beetles as you want. She takes out a book. I really can't get enough of this. All of them are just so cute. I guess this is how men must feel when they look at gravier magazines. Don't know how to reply to that. <laughs> Look at the silhouette in this corner. Oh. As Misha is about to show a photo from the book, something falls out. Ah. Nice. Good thing I checked some other shelves. Came from an insect encycl encyclopedia, of all things. Okay. Uh, infirmary. Although, I think I can't trade. I think I need three. I only have two. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, what's the status? How many are there? Three. So there's not that many. Okay. Um, now we go here. Oh, phone? Hello? Oh, what's up, Hime? I'm helping Mr. Gabu right now. We're gonna go to the clock tower. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Mr. Gabu's here with me, so we'll be fine even if the departed does show up. Don't be mad. I promise I'll be home in 30 minutes. Cover for me in the meantime. Ooh, Hime is mad. I mean, she's always kind of irritated by my actions, but she doesn't usually scold me. She's worried about you. I guess so. But I bet she's also worried about you, too. She likes you, you know? Enough of that nonsense, please. No, I have proof! Hime's always been well behaved, but she's totally ignored all of Miss Sakamoto's warnings. You know why? Because she's really giving her all for you. 
You think so? Absolutely. Please treat her well. Hmm, I don't trust that. I really don't trust either of them, really, but I trust Michiho less than Dorio. Once again, I arrive at this place. I recall the story I heard from Dorio this evening. During summer break, Dorio and Michiho discovered the doll the first headmaster put in here. Is it here? So I ask, sh swallowing down my saliva. Mm -hmm. My mind is screaming that I'm in grave danger and should not be taking one step closer. That bell again. Michio doesn't seem to hear it. I really am the only one who can hear it. The bell stops. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's go. Do you think it'll open? I think so. <gasps> How? This is our chance! Let's go! Yeah, sure. I want to have a good look around. Ooh, yes, yes, yes! I step into the clock tower. The unpleasant smell of dampness and mold hits my nostrils immediately. Wait outside, Michiho. I'm coming with you. I'm not scared at all. I want you to keep an eye on the door. If I get locked, up, locked in up here, things will get really bad. Oh, okay. I'll keep the exit safe for you. Be careful. What is she gonna do, though? Keep her foot between the door? Yoshi. Old western-style cabinet with several talismans. What do you know? Michio was telling the truth. There's a drawing of a centipede on the talisman, just like in the photo from the book. These talismans seem to be sealing something inside. However, a plank is preventing me from opening the door. I need to get rid of it first. Mm, okay, I have nothing on me. Let's see if we can find like a crowbar or a hammer. A mannequin without limbs. Has it always been clothed? Dude, this sounds bad. Scary, scary. It's on the floor. Dusty stone floor. I can see something re resembling a tooth stuck in the gutter. Yeah, pick it. Dig. I wedge my finger in and try to fish the item out. The tooth doesn't budge at all. Should be able to get it if I widen the gap a little. Hmm. Okay. Need another item. <laughs> mm. Who is that? I blurred out. Is she hanging out over here? There's no reply. The silent darkness is the only thing accompanying me in here. Hmm. A large wooden box. I peer inside to find a crowbar and a wrench. Perfect. Cool. Hang on. I notice something and look around the room. I don't see any more stairs to climb. This is the top floor. There's no altar anywhere. The female doll was placed on an altar. That's what Dorio told me. Same story it was in the school newspaper. So why isn't there an altar anywhere in here? Um, uh, maybe they're just hiding another floor from you, or it's in the closet, maybe? Hmm. It's saying that I should kill someone. Korose, not Koros. Mm. Despite my pleading yells for the unknown entity to stop their oral torture, the voice continues on. It feels like there's insects crawling inside my head as it drones on and on. What do you want me to kill?
Nope. Wrong button. Let's use the wren. I want to use the crowbar, but... Let's get the heck out of here. It's so uncomfortable. That work? Nice. I opened the door. There's an old book inside. M Town's private records! Ooh! The book! Now let's get out quick. Oh, you can read that? An ancient script. It'll take me some time to decipher. Okay. Dude, just take it. It's time to go. My headache is getting worse. I have to read this. Take it with you! The departed secret. Oh. What is happening? The letters turned red. Dude, just take the book. Leave the tower. I can't read the book like this. What's written here? <laughs> Dude, time to go. Do you want me to kill someone that badly? But who? <laughs> Your husband. Oh, God, you're so ugly. <laughs> Are you the departed? Did you eat kokuri? This is neither a dream nor a hallucination. The departed really has transformed. Dear husband, what are you going to do this time? There's little two little arms up top. Kind of look like little chicken legs. Where is Michiho, by the way? Thank you for the food. Don't tell me. You ate Michiho? Can we leave? Kill who? You've killed so many people already. What do you want me to kill? Oh my god. At one health? Well then. The Departed is clearly a monster. I don't really want to get close to it, but what should I do? Oh god. What are you gonna do with the wrench? Threaten to throw or throw it? And the crowbar? Stab? Take a defensive stance. But you said you didn't want to get closer. Ugh, this is gonna be instant death. Try defending myself with the crowbar. I hold out the crowbar and strengthen my defense, but the departed doesn't move. I can see a faint smile. There's still a face in there? Where is she smiling? <laughs> Don't want to get close to it. Then throw it. I haven't really used the wrench at all. Well, let's see what this does. How do you like that? The wrench hit the departed. Something seems strange to me. Yeah. Oh. Do you think it's actually Michiho and not the departed? And we're, we actually just hurt her now by throwing a wrench at her? I want to believe I made the right choice. Okay. Okay. 
Dude, gross. Why does the top of her, where her neck or whatever is, why does it look like a vagina? See, it looks like a vagina up top. It's weird. I don't like your design. Yeah, I think they're they're messing with my head and it's actually just Michiho standing there. I don't think we should I don't think we should hurt them. Just doesn't feel right. I should try defending myself. I hope so. I think she's just making me see things that aren't real. <laughs> the bardet moans and they sound rather mournful. Why would they do that? Are things not going as they expected? I the right choice, yeah. What are you gonna do to me, you bastard? The eerie voice has sent the world careening on its side. I'm so dizzy, I can't even tell if I'm still standing. My head's killing me. Darkness shrouds my vision. Or is it Sakamoto? All I can hear are the departed's murmurs. If you want me to kill so badly... I feel this indescribable, overwhelming urge to kill. Don't do it! My consciousness is fading. Okay. So we black out. At least hopefully we didn't kill anyone. Why? Why is she... Wait, I didn't do that. On the floor. Bugs. There's a large swarm of bugs. The bloody body is covered in bugs. <laughs> you heard my wish, dear husband. You killed... She who was close to you. Thank you, dear husband. But I didn't, though. Don't tell me I was controlled by the departed. Then I... <laughs> I flee from the clock tower. But I said I made the right choice. I roam about aimlessly with the crowbar in hand. I was being controlled and attacked the spirit in front of me. But it wasn't the spirit, it was Michiho. Even though my eyes saw the departed. <coughs> Dorio. Mr. Gabu, what's going on? What are you doing with that bloody crowbar? Doryo, why are you here? I was worried since Micho hasn't come home yet. Where is she? What happened? At the clock tower, I was controlled by the departed. I attacked her with the crowbar. No way. I'm gonna go check. I wanted to check because I don't trust my own eyes. Even knowing the departed might still be in there, I can't stop her from rushing inside. She returns after a while. She looks as emotionless as a wax statue, but her eyes are red and swollen. I saw her. She just stares at me, shell-shocked. She doesn't even cry or lash out at me. Her mind can't even process what she should do. Mr. Gabu, what are you gonna do now? Hmm. Call an ambulance? It's too late. She's not breathing. Head 
Sergeant Master? I understand why you'd want to contact him, but given the situation, I don't know if he'd be willing to help you. I don't think the police will believe you if you tell them you are being controlled. They'll arrest you, and if that happens, you won't be able to pursue the departed. What do you want me to do? You decide. It's a cowardly move, I know, but I also fear my own judgement now. What if I'm still under the de departed's control? What? She nods. She opens her mouth again right after. Follow me. Where are we going? Don't tell me the dorm. She regains her composure. I'm still stunned, but she immediately grabs my hand and drags me out of the academy. Can you drive? Yeah. You better head to your home first and come up with a plan there. Hmm. Okay. Dodo takes the passenger seat as I drive my car back. During the ride, I tell her about what happened earlier. Even though I struggle to find the words and need to pause several times, Dorio pushes me and I manage to get through my recap. I still think she might be the departed, Michiho. Maybe it's all a game she's playing. Once we arrive at the mansion, I take off my sweat-soaked shirt and take a hot shower. Or in Dorio's words, I warm my body up and calm my mind down. Her firm attitude and language remind me of my late sister. My sister often tried to whip me into shape and scolded me for being lazy. Or is Dorio the departed? And like, I was getting too close to Michiho, so she cleaned up and now she can be close to me. I put on a new shirt and slacks. I may have washed off the blood, but there's no way to cleanse the bloody truth. Hi, Dimas. <laughs> you look much better now. Yeah. Thanks to your help. Oh, please. Why are you helping me? I was being controlled, but it doesn't change the fact that I killed... Please stop. I know you didn't do it of your own will. Weren't you fighting the departed? That's what I thought, but it turned out it wasn't the departed. What? If you truly care for Michiho, then please avenge her. That's what I wish, and I'm sure Michiho would feel the same. I want to do that, but... There's a corpse in the clock tower. If someone discovers it, then I... It'll be fine. It's on school grounds, and if the departed is involved, her corpse should disappear. She might be right. The departed probably doesn't want me to be arrested and barred from the school grounds. They're as cunning as a human. Everything that's happened so far is probably all part of their master plan. As long as both of us keep this quiet, you won't be suspected of murder. So you're saying you want us to continue the investigation while keeping Michio's death a secret? Yes. I'll never forgive you if you say you want to run from the departed now. Dorio levels a determined gaze at me. I can see black flames burning in her eyes. She's really pissed off at the departed. Maybe granting the wishes of the girl who, whose best friend I accidentally killed is the best way for me to atone for my actions. I'm begging you, please hunt down the departed. Nod. Let me help you out. Please avenge her. Dorio falls into my arms. See, this feels like something the departed would do. Dorio sobs deeply in my chest. This must have broken her. A girl who lost her best friend and now feels like she's been left all alone in this world. This wound will never heal. If there's one reason I'm still on this earth, it must be that I'm intended to bring an end to this cursed case and bring her some relief. Ooh, that's wild. Okay, let me make a new save. Okay, um, and now let me check if that's, if I can have any other outcome. It's the same. So I guess whatever, no matter what you do, Michiho is destined to die in that chapter. Which still makes me think, like, maybe people's theories that there's- that the both of them together are the Departed is also- would be genius. Because then the Departed as two entities are just toying with me back and forth. And then killing off one so that the other then seeks solace with you. It would fit. It would be very smart. Okay, so there's one last chapter after this left. Um, which is a big one. 
It's like a three hour chapter again. And then there's a bonus chapter that's like 50 minutes. So the next last episode is going to be like three and a half hours ish. And then the game is done. So, so far, I think I've done played the game as best as I can. The people that have but died, they just die. There's no other outcome for them. I've been do playing it like the way where most people survive the most people. So hopefully that's good. Um, and then it'll all come down to the next day. Is it the next day already? This song. Well, that'll be for next time. Big ending chunky episode. So I'll see you guys there. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.